who owns the Ambassador Bridge and has spent millions on the campaign to stop a new bridge from being built. If you were curious why no state lawmakers other than the governor's team has spoken out against it, Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly is not. I, I really can't blame uh, local elected officials, be they state representatives or senators, for not wanting to take on the wrath of a billionaire who's so easy to part with uh, his money on the airwaves and so loose with facts. Governor Rick Snyder is trying to outwit Maroon's overspending. During this process, he signed an interlocal agreement with Canada, which does not require approval from lawmakers. Maroon's group, the people should decide, call that agreement unconstitutional. He went around the legislature. The only way to, to, uh, to, to bring this into check is with a constitutional amendment, and that's why the people should vote yes. The group also believes Michigan taxpayers will end up paying for the bridge, but Governor Snyder has repeatedly said Canada is picking up Michigan's tab and will get that money back through road tolls.